Hello Internet, my name is Ayla Tesla-Mabe, and today Shredmaster Dean Lamb is here to show you some awesome techniques on the guitar. Check it out and feel free to check out his course on guitario.com. All right, my name is Dean Lamb. I play in a death metal band called Arch Spire, and death metal is a very scary sounding thing, but we're all pretty nice. And so what, what you just watched is me playing a solo from our song called Drain of Incarnation, which is a series of words I don't really understand, but it's, uh, it's a very fast solo. Got lots of pinch harmonics in it, uh, lots of hybrid picking, uh, where I use the other digits on my right hand uh, to play some notes. It's got some uh, economy picking, uh, and what I wanted to do is just break it down and show you exactly what I was thinking when I was writing the solo. So come along with me into my brain. There's room for, uh, well, this, there's actually a lot of room. Uh, there's a, yeah, not, not too, not, yeah. I mean, I spent a lot of time playing this. I'm not so good with the, uh, the old noggin here. But if you are interested in learning more stuff like this, oh my goodness, we have a, a guitar course available at Guitario. Uh, I'm there, you'll be there maybe. There's so much cool stuff that we cover um, and uh, and I can't wait to see you there. But anyway, the uh, here's what I was thinking of writing that solo. All right, so the first thing, we start with a little pinch harmonic here. Um, and you'll notice I did it twice because I messed it up the first time. There you go, I, I did it right both times. So this is a, uh, a pinch harmonic that I just, it's just very abrasive sounding and I wanted the first note to be very abrasive and, and uh, and aggressive sounding. Uh, we play a little uh, a little run from the first note to this next chord up. Uh, the chords in the background are changing as I'm playing, so I'm sort of I'm trying to follow those a little bit. All within your harmonic minor scale. So we're starting on the fifth of your harmonic minor scale. I guess we're just going up an octave in your harmonic minor scale again. And you'll notice my right hand here, I'm using these other fingers. That allows me to keep my muting with my right hand nice and solid and consistent so I'm not uh, hitting all these notes. I, I have a lot of strings on my guitar and these guys, they vibrate quite easily. So I like to keep my right hand in the same spot. And if I can, just get those extra notes with my middle of my ring finger. Then we do a full step bend up here on the 14th fret of the B string. Uh, which is fun on a 27 inch scale with uh, tens. And we do a bit of a harmonic minor kind of thing. Landing on a nice satisfying note here, this uh, A flat or whatever that is. Okay, so we have a, a melody line to start the solo and it starts off nice and it has that aggressive note there, but it sets a statement. Hey, we're in harmonic minor. And, and well, that's what death metal really is. It's all in harmonic minor or, uh, or modes thereof. So um, we set our statement. Now we want to go into the more fast and uh, flashy kind of stuff. Then we do a major seven arpeggio sequence down with a sharp four. It's all, it's all Lydian stuff. Uh, I like the sound of that. That's a very Steve Vai kind of thing, although I'm playing it all picked. Steve Vai might do more legato kind of stuff. Here, I'm trying to pick every single note. Now we get to that really fast run at the end, which I am okay at. Uh, it's all economy picked. Everything up till now has either been hybrid picked with our right hand, middle and ring finger notes or alternate picked uh, strictly alternate picked to get that nice rhythmic stability. Now we go into economy picking. If you don't know what economy picking is, it's basically using the direction of the next string to get, indicate what type of pick you're going to play. So if I'm playing this way, then I'm going to pick every note with a downstroke and rake through just like sweet picking. So we can do multiple notes per string and three note per string looks kind of like this. We're doing a three note per string, six note phrase. 
Then we go up to uh, our uh, 23rd fret, the second highest note that I have on my guitar. And I bend up to the 24th fret just so I can do this. Get some vibrato on that last note. Um, so that's basically a breakdown of the solo. One thing you might notice when I'm playing this is uh, for the more aggressive kind of stuff, I'm using my bridge pickup. And then for the more, uh, the, the faster kind of runs, I'm using my neck pickup. Neck smooths out everything, makes it sound more glassy, more cohesive. Bridge pickup is more aggressive, more uh, abrasive. And, and that stuff is, it, it's just, when you divide those in a solo and you're adding the pickup selector switches, it just makes the whole thing sound more dynamic. And, and actually, uh, if you think about vocalists, they do a lot of vowel sounds. So ow, uh, that kind of stuff. And with guitar, you can actually get a little bit of a vowel sound switch because your neck pickup is more muted, more like closed mouth, and your bridge is more open mouth. And if you can get that closed open mouth thing, it mimics the human voice a little bit more. And wow, I sound like a nerd talking about this. But this is what this is what I think about when I play this kind of stuff. Um, if you can mimic the human voice, then maybe, just maybe, with your guitar playing, you can make enough money to quit your job at an Italian food restaurant and uh, move out of your mom's basement. The whole point is we want to uh, relate to the audience. We want to make sure that our audience is enjoying our so sound of our guitar playing. And if we can mimic the sound of a human voice, oh my goodness, you have a, a leg up and, and, you can, and you can make more engaging, awesome solos, in my opinion, for whatever it's worth. Not much. I hope that you enjoyed taking a walk, a stroll through my brain. That sounded weird. But uh, if you did, I, I, there's so much more content just like this over at Guitario. I did an entire course um, and, and it does a lot of, it goes through a lot of shred guitar techniques. And so if you like learning about that kind of stuff, head over to Guitario and you can take multiple strolls through my brain. You and I can hold hands. Um, it'll be, it'll be great. I can't wait to see you there. Um, namaste.